Hey, what's up, buddy, YouTuber? It's me again. Stabbing Goldberg. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. <coughs> so, <laughs> without further ado, let's get to what the video is about today. <laughs> so today, uh, this video is going to be about a very, very, very popular old school Buffalo death metal band from the 90s. And I have acquired all three of their discography. And I'm happy to be talking about this band. And this death metal band is none other than the one, the only, the legendary Baphomet. Yes, that band from all the way in Buffalo, New York. So yeah. Let's start the video, and we'll first start out with the demos. Yeah, this is the Baphomet demos from 1990 and 1991, called just Baphomet and Boiled in Blood. As you can see, this is the front of the record, and this is the back of the record, showing off the two demos from Baphomet. And I gotta say, I just finished listening to this record, and this record is fucking awesome. Great demos, great quality sound, and wow, like they even sound just as brutal as what they are in the other two albums, which is amazing, but very different, very different sound type of quality. Well, of course, because these two are just the uh <laughs> these two are just the demos, not the official Baphomet actually official albums that came out and also this vinyl is on black and red splat tour you see that's the first side and that's the other side as you can see it's a very good black and red splatter vinyl which i absolutely love a lot about this vinyl it is amazing and also if you guys want to know you can also purchase this vinyl on a uh, Severed Records official website. If you go onto Severed Records and type in Baphomet, it'll be right there. So yeah, the demos are like very good quality, very good sound. Um, you could definitely tell it's like from the old like 1990s death metal days. Cause well, they're a Buffalo death metal band just like uh, Cannibal Corpse. And yeah, of course. <laughs> and um, I gotta say, I love this vinyl. The sound quality is very good. The, um, the interesting about Boiled in Blood is like I think it's like an, a live audience recording. Because you can also hear the audience in the background going, Woo, yeah. So basically that's pretty cool how it's actually uh, recorded on a uh, actual live track. Which is pretty cool for this. So basically these are the two demos that Baphomet first started out in their careers from 1990 and 1991. And I gotta say the demos are absolutely fucking amazing. And they're really good. Like, I can't even tell you how much I, I just love this vinyl. I just got this vinyl today, along with this t-shirt as well. But yeah, speaking of uh, the t-shirt, the, the let's get back to the vinyl. <laughs> the vinyl, basically, I gotta say, is... Like, if you're interested, you should really pick up Baphomet's demos. Like, I'm a huge Baphomet fan, and I absolutely fucking love this band. Like, really do. And I'm very glad to have picked this vinyl up actually from Severed Records. So yeah, that was Baphomet's two demos called Baphomet and Boiled in Blood from 1990 and 1991. Now we go to the next album that Baphomet made in their career, and that is none other than this one called Death in the Beginning. Very good album, because this album was basically made, yes, in the early 1990s as well. This was Baphomet's first ever full-length album. Not the other one, but this is their full-length album. For with songs called Animation of the Dead, Infection of Death, Torn Soul, Leave the Flesh, Unholy, Vile Remnants, Broken Crypt, Spe Spectral Manic, Spoiled in Blood, Unexpected Internment, Boiled in Blood, and Infection of Death. Great, great album. Great, great album. Like, really. Like, this one, I would say, has to be the best album of all time. Because the, the, the blast beats are just 
so goddamn fast and the sound quality is so good like especially the live ones the live um recordings were actually bad for me from the day of death which is absolutely fucking amazing if i actually do say so myself like really this album mm, i also bought it also on severed records as well so you can basically get the vinyl and also this on severed records if you're actually interested in this as well but yeah, I gotta say, this is this is a great album. Fucking great album by Baphomet. And I say it's their fastest one because the, the guitars are just a lot more crunchy. The blast beats are just more there. But it's, it's, it's like it's there. It's like going... And when you hear like the vocals go... And I'm like, ooh. I love it. It's it's not grindcore because if you guys think it's grindcore, I swear to God, please don't think it's grindcore because it's it's old school death metal. That's what it is, but with a lot of fast blast beats. So yeah, that was uh, Baphomet's death in the beginning, and now we get to their other full length album called Baphomet: The Dead Shall Inherit. Now that's the album that's after Death in the Beginning and the demo. This is like the third full length album, which has songs called The Suffering, Through Deviant Eyes, Leave the Flesh, Valley of the Dead, which actually <laughs> my good friend Ken Escobedo of Ken's Death Metal Crypt said that is that's all time favorite song on this album is Valley of the Dead. And Torn Soul, Vile Remnants, Boiled in Blood, The Age of Plague, Infection of Death, and Streaks of Blood. So yeah, I gotta say, ugh. Ooh, this is another one of their great albums. Like it's it's brutal, it's good, it's fantastic, but it's definitely, definitely, definitely not as good as this one. I say Death in the Beginning, in my opinion, is their best album. This I would have to say is their second best album. Because I don't know, this album for me just got a little more faster blast beats and a lot much better sound. But you know, that's just my opinion of just what I think. The demo was really good too as well. Like I said, good blast beats, but not as fast blast beats as Death in the Beginning. But yeah, this was like Baphomet's like third album that's actually like of their discography. Like like this is their second full length album, but it's not their like, you know, only like third album because you can't count two demos because they're just demos. They're not like the full length albums. This is their second full length album of Baphomet, uh, The Dead Sharon Herod, as you can see. Great sound quality, very brutal. It was also on, it's on uh, Peaceville Records, as you guys can see. Same record label as Dark Throne, which is really awesome, actually. You come to think about, like, they're on the same level as, not level, I mean, same, same label as Dark Throne, which is pretty cool. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, very good songs. Like, I can't even choose a favorite because I love this band all together. Like, really, um, Bad For Me's Death in the Beginning and this album, I say, they're great albums. Like, if you've never heard of Baphomet, if I were you, I would really just go into their discography and check out what they have. Because you, you might really like them. You really will. This one album sounds a little, it's, it's fast, but it's also a little slow at times. Which I'm like, I wish they had more blast beats and more brutality in it. But one point actually has like a slam chug that's very reminiscent of Suffocation, which I'm actually like, like that, I was like, oh, wow, that's pretty cool that they actually had, like, that one moment in there. Oh, that was another bean from my uh, Facebook page, <laughs> if you guys heard it or not. <laughs> but, yeah, this, this album is really good. And there's another. <laughs> this album is really good, actually, and I really love it a lot. Like, my God. Mm, you should pick up this album. You should love this band. So, without further ado, I'm going to end this little review video right here talking about the entire Baphomet discography from their demo, from uh, Death in the Beginning, and Dead and the Dead Show Inherit. So, basically, I got like all their albums right here, as you can see. I got uh, the demo, the uh, Death in the Beginning, and the Dead Show Inherit. So, if I were you guys, if you guys never heard of Buffalo's death metal band called uh, Baphomet, please go and give them a chance. You would absolutely love this band. Old school death metal up the ass. No doubt about it. So overall, guys, I'm going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed my little Baphomet review and talk video. So overall, guys, keep it metal. Keep it brutal. Keep it awesome. Hope to see you guys all soon in my next video. Have a fantastic, great rest of your day. Always be awesome. And remember, always keep it metal.
And I'll see you guys all soon in my very next video. Good bye-bye, and see you all soon. So, so.